Okay, um, several of you have noticed that I use these uh, plugs. They're a two inch um, expansion plug. You can get your local um, hardware store. It's a two inch schedule 40 pipe. Now you could use this thing and just put it in here. And it was its main purpose actually, just to crank down on it. Okay, but as you know, that your standard household does not pipe is not getting any hotter than the outside temperature, if, if not cooler. So, since our cell or the reservoir or the solution in it does acquire some temperature anywhere from 80 to 125 degrees, um, I um, saw this done in another video with a, another experimenter shared with us. Um, he took a coupling and um, just a regular two inch coupling, you know, it, it goes in here and of course another pipe will go on the other side. And you cut it in half, you know, if you have a miter saw or a really steady hand, you can cut it in half. So you can see from that width to this. What you do is you'll slide off your two inch pipe, of course, uh, gluing it, you know, with a, it would look like this. And then when you have your um, plug, you put it in. And you can really crank down on this. Um, what it, what that, that that accomplished is it gave this the wall some extra strength. It reinforced it because uh, you'll need that when your cell, uh, you know, the condition is changing. As I said, 80 from anywhere from up to 120 degrees. At least 120 degrees was the highest I've seen my cell go up where uh, the solution anyway. It gives you that extra strength. So um, what I have to do is. Originally, these were the solution or con the reservoir I use. Um, I still have them, but I'm recalling them back and retrofitting the vehicles that I put in. Um, this is three quart capacity. Uh, you could fill this thing about two quarts and maybe two and a half, and you'll end up with a water uh, line about here. Um, but if you put them on a vehicle that's got a very stiff suspension, you know, towing a package like some of the F-150 I've installed them on, the water will kind of has a wave effect in here driving around and eventually if this was my exit hole for the gas some of the water gets picked up and get pushed out to your rest to your bubbler which I've seen done and I'm really not happy with that so I elected to go another route um, this is your four, four inch end cap and it's a four inch to a two inch uh, pipe so my reservoirs are 12 inches tall you know so from here and the outlet, of course, was prompt me to do this. Is um, it would look like this? Of course, it'll be a little shorter. I'll cut this down to to where all you see is pretty much the reinforcement coupling will look like this, and then look like that. And uh, what that allows me to do is, if you imagine, this is the top of my reservoir, and uh, this is a smaller version of my cell that I put together, um, specially designed it for a Volkswagen Jetta, about 1.8 turbo engine. This produces enough for that particular application. Anyway, as you can see the exit hose, I could put a fitting in here and then do the same thing on the other side on my dual cell application. And on the back side, I could put another fitting for the exit to go to my bubbler. So. Going this route gave me the flexibility with my installation. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you since the uh, majority of everyone in the forum uh, I've acquired quite a bit of knowledge and really verify what I'm playing with and what I'm doing is a standard practice for everyone and it allows me to be a little bit more ingenuity, apply more ingenuity in my application. Um, so this works well and you had a benefit of going this route. Um, the hardware stores, three blocks where I live. This I waited. I ordered 20 of these things. I waited three weeks. So as you can see, when you're promising someone that their system will be installed and you can't install them because you're waiting for these through the supply system or the internet in this case, I'm not. I'm not very patient when it comes to that. So I did some research, looking around, and I'm sure many of you have done the same. You want easy access to your material, and that's what I've got. And this is now my my flagship, so to speak, the reservoir. I could make this thing to several configuration.
but the tolls have did well so far from most of the VH. Uh, as you saw in my other video, the 7.3 turbo diesel, it has a 12 inch um, reservoir and it holds its 2.5 quarts of solution and that's plenty and, and it even gave me plenty of space for the water to move around in there without being blown into the bubbler. Enjoy, I hope you uh, um, gain something from this. I know I have when I see others videos and uh, so thank you.